welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. So tell us, what was it like working with Scott Hicks on The Lucky One? Well, I enjoyed Scott thoroughly. I mean, he's, to be honest, he was the first initial reason why I was interested in the movie. Oh, I admire his movies so much, Shine, obviously. And, oh. and he had used some of my music in some of his earlier movies. And we actually ended up doing a commercial together, although we didn't know it until much later because the composer and the director never meet on commercials. Really? Yep. You're like sequestered and separated. Yeah, sequestered he does his stuff in later case, after different Scott countries. does his work. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But um, yeah, I heard this, that they were making this film and that Scott was doing it. So I was sort of looking at the film and telling my agent, well, what about that? And meanwhile, Scott was sorting out his problem. Our, sort of, our interests sort of collided. And uh, it was fantastic. You also are doing all the music for the hit TV show Once Upon a Time. I am. How different Absolutely. is doing film versus, well, television is episodic, so you're constantly doing stuff. But sort of what are the, what are the primary differences so our, audi our audience can <laughs> suss it out? Well, I think the primary difference for me, of course, as the guy doing the work, is the time factor. Right. You know, we'll generally have anywhere from two, two and a half months to score. 40, 50 minutes worth of music for a film. And on a television show, we've got 20 minutes to 30 minutes every week. Can you talk about your career before? Yeah, how did you get into film music? I was classically trained as a youngster, and I actually worked in the San Francisco Symphony for a brief period. Um, but on I was which, bit- On which instrument? As a trumpet player. I'm a classically trained trumpet player. Yes. He's gonna jump in on the band. <laughs> this guy's good, I don't need to jump in there. <laughs> Do you ever get out and play trumpet and do shows at all? Not as much anymore. I, I spent about a good seven, eight years equally balancing the two careers, touring you know, right. four months out of the year and then composing. But then you know, started raising children and the touring just became not as interesting to right. me. Do you miss, you miss that I miss live it. audience feeling? I miss it terribly. What's but next? What can, you, can you tell us what you're working on now? Yeah, I have a, a big uh, Nick Cage heist film coming Ooh. out. Bank robbing at its highest, <laughs> highest <laughs> technical expertise of bank robbing, and um, and I'm working currently working on a big uh, science fiction movie with Jim Sturgis and Kirsten Dunst. Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on the show. It's it been was, my absolute pleasure. It was pleasure. truly a pleasure. Great to see you again. It's been great way to too see long. You.